what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video as you guys can see on your screen we're back with another tier making video in today's video we're going to be ranking all of mlb the show 21's event rewards all the way from rank s to rank d drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 2400 subs man if you guys don't see that number at 2400 yet Please be the cool guy or girl that helps us get that much closer. I really appreciate it. Before we hop into today's video, you guys know we got to give today's comment shout out. Shout out to these three legends for commenting on yesterday's video. Shout out to my boy Evan for being the first person. Shout out to my boy Sheldon for being the second. And finally, shout out to my boy MJ Goatway for being the third. So without further ado, man, let's hop right into today's video. Let's rank these event rewards. Now, guys, if you guys want to do this here, guys, yourself, the link to this tier making um list will be down in the description the first link down there go ahead and click it and go ahead and make your own and go ahead and tweet it at me or let me know down in the comments your guys' thoughts and opinions um you guys showed a lot of love on the first one and i really enjoyed making that video so we're back at it again what video number two this time we're going to be ranking all of mlb the show 21's event rewards um there's a total of 37 cards guys so i'm gonna try to go through this really really quick um, or not too quick, but I feel like in, in, in the first video or the first tier making video we did, we talked a lot. And in this video, I'm going to try to just cut it down a little bit. I enjoy making these, man. These tier making videos are fun. I can't wait to keep bringing them more. Um, maybe even we'll do like fast food. We'll do, I don't know, guys. You guys got to let me know down in the comments what other tier making videos you guys want me to see. Um, that's my only request for the, today's video. So without further ado, man, we got 37 cards to rank. So let's hop right into it. So... We have John Smoltz as the first card, man. Honestly, I'm looking at it right here on my other screen. 85 overall, second half card. Didn't really use them too much. I didn't really use a lot of these event cards, if I'm being honest with you. But um, this John Smoltz card, I use them in the beginning in events. I'm not going to lie to you. But ever since then, I haven't really used them. So I'm going to have to throw them in the D slot. Just because I feel like John Smoltz cards are kind of hit, hit or miss. We did get a signature series card, and no one's really using that. You get me? All right, next, we have the Asdrubal Cabrera uh, Award Series card. He's a switch hitter. Um, he's going, I think, for about 250,000 stubs right now at the moment. Um, he's a switch hitter. Um, but again, this the, the theme with this video you guys are going to get to see is not a lot of these cards are usable. Of course, not right now because there's better cards. But Asdrubal Cabrera, I'm going to have to throw him in the D slot as well, man. Odd Fraser card, similar. Like I said, guys, this is going to be a theme in today's video. A lot of these cards are kind of like subpar, if I'm not going to lie. Todd Frazier was probably only good for freaking Cincinnati's team build card. Going to have to throw him in the D tier for that. Next, we're going to be moving on to the Future Stars Cardinals catcher, Ivan Herrera. And honestly, he had decent stats. Never really used him too much, and I haven't seen him, right? So I'm going to have to throw him in the D tier as well, guys. I'm sorry. On to the next, we got Nick Markakis. He's a D tier. <laughs> By all means, there's no way he should be a C or anything. All right, next, we have Miguel Cabrera. Now, honestly, if I'm not mistaken, he was the first event reward. Um, and I use him pretty good. So I'm going to throw him in the C slot just because I really enjoyed using that card. And um, I'm not using him right now. Obviously, he's got a 99, but he was a good card for his time. Next, we're going on to the John Olaroid. I think that's how you his card. And again, one of these cards that's just kind of lackluster don't know why he was added to events <laughs> see here's the thing too guys event rewards they gotta be worth it and a lot of these cards really aren't worth it especially even for the time they were released in mlb the show like next we're moving on to Pee Wee reese um i use him a couple times not gonna lie um don't obviously see him anywhere else as far as being used today um he doesn't have a 99 yet either which kind of sucks but i'm about to throw Pee Wee in that d tier as well i mean it's just like I said, it's going to be a theme with today's video, guys. Not a lot of cards are going to get the higher rankings. Next, we're moving on to the catcher, future stars, Luis Campusano for the Padres. I used him about like one or two times. So we're going to have to throw him in the D tier as well. Don't see him being used right now. And um, like I said, only good for a Padres team build. Next, we got Bruce Suter. Not a big fan of him. I know my boy Tokyo is a big fan of him. Shout out to you, bro. Um, uh, again, like kind of... I don't know, man. Just not really worth it too much. <laughs> Gotta throw him in a D tier. Next, we're moving on to the shortstop future stars. Jeter down for the Boston Red Sox. Again, didn't really use this car too much. His stats were kind of like, eh, you know, gonna throw him in the D tier, guys. Well, don't worry, it's gonna get better, guys. Hopefully, he gets better, right? Next, we're moving on to this prime Jake McGee. Now, this card last year, if I'm not mistaken, he was a World Series, World Series reward or Battle Royale reward. Point is, they threw him in events this year, which was fantastic. I'm going to have to throw Jake McGee. 
I'm about to throw Jake McGee in the C tier. I was going to throw him in the B tier, but here's why I'm going to throw him in the C tier. Now, in the C tier, because you can't really use him right now. He only has three pitches. Um, he's good, but I don't think he, you, you can use him for your end game team. That, that's the reason why I'm throwing him in the C tier. Next, we're going on with the signature series, Zach Granke. And guys, he's A tier. The reason why he's A tier is because he has a freaking curveball that you can throw at 68 miles an hour and you could throw a four seam at like 93. It's crazy, guys. If you guys ever get a chance to pick up that card, go ahead and use him. He's 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 weird and he's awkward. <laughs> like the card, I mean, not not, the, not his personality. Next, guys. Well, it took us long enough, but we got our first S tier card. It's Jason Dominguez, guys. This card. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is this is a type of card I want to see in events next year every single time because Jason Dominguez literally when he was announced and released and shown his stats he's a switch hitter had like 94 fielding 98 reaction he had decent power against both sides decent contact against both sides everybody wanted him not everybody wants these event rewards you get me that's why there's a lot of a lot of a lot of D tier ranks you get me um that's why Jason Dominguez is all the way in the S tier because his card was amazing we even got him parallel five <laughs> Next, Brett Gardner, Signature Series, uh, throw him in the D tier, nothing too crazy. On to the next, we got Noah Syndergaard, Prime Prime Series, Noah Syndergaard, didn't really use this card. I think his control is a little out the whack, so I'm going to have to throw him in the D tier. I'm sorry, Noah. On to the next, U Darvish. Now, this card was actually pretty good, top snout card. I'm going to throw him in the B tier. The only reason why is because he has a, he has a cutter and a forcing that throws pretty hard. His per nine kind of low, but... This car is pretty good for his time. Next, we got Ozzy, Ozzy Smith, correct? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Ozzy Smith signature series. Um, nothing too crazy about this card. Again, a lot of people just overlooked him because it just wasn't worth it. Um, next, Asa Lacy. Now, this card, guys, not gonna lie. Looking at his sets right here, he's got that four seam sinker, he's got that circle change, his per nine are decent. I'm gonna have to throw him in the B tier. The reason why I'm throwing him in the B tier is because I used him uh, like three or four times, and he's done pretty well for me. I love his um pitch repertoire his fits per nine are beautiful next dj lemayhew award series i'm about to throw this in the d tier didn't even get him didn't even play events to get him that just explains it itself yoanna cesped is i'm gonna throw him in the c tier because this man helped me get shohei otani <laughs> i sold him for like i think 200 something thousand stubs and his stats are pretty nice um but yeah he, he he'll go in the c tier next we got lucas giolito the no hitter card that card kind of sucks, guys. No disrespect to Lucas, but it's just he has a four pitch, four pitch repertoire. They're not any good pitches. <laughs> On to the next, Jose Altuve, this top snout card. I'm gonna throw him in the B slot, B tier as well, because guys, he has nice hitting stats and he's a 97 overall, and it was a good card. Him, Altuve, and uh, Yu Darvish were released at the same time in the same event, and um, he's a good hitter. Not gonna lie. Moving on to next, Burt Blevelin. I'm going to throw him in the D tier as well because I didn't really use him much. And it was just one of those, uh, I got him. I wasn't like super ecstatic like I was with Jason Dominguez or Zach Granke. Next, we're moving on to Ralph Kiner. I'm going to have to throw Ralph Kiner in the B tier. I've never used this card, but solely as a reward, he was really, really good. His freaking uh, hitting stats were off the charts. His fielding was where he kind of was lackluster, but um, his hitting stats were crazy. Moving on to the finest, Javi Baez. I'm about to throw him in the B tier as well because I really like Javi Baez. Javi Baez's swing are really, really good in this game. And that card was amazing. Use him for a little bit. That's why I think I have him like parallel one. Moving on to next, Todd Helton. He's going to get the B tier as well because I used him. Really like his swing. And he did really, really good defensively for me. Next, we got Anthony Rendon. And yes, guys, going on to that B tier again. We got back to we got back to back to back to back the B tiers. Um, Rendon topping it off. Um, he did really, really good for me as well. Used him. I think I have him parallel one or something. I don't know, but he, he's a really good card. Next, we got Ricky Henderson, guys. And I spoke too soon. We got another one in the B tier. Ricky Henderson, he's really, really good. 99 freaking stealing, base running, aggression, and speed. I um, mean, he was an event reward. I think last year he was a World Series reward, a 99 overall for him. So glad to see it was easier to get this year. Next, we have Dennis Eckersley. Now, guys, I would throw Eckersley in the B tier, but I'm going to have to throw him in the C tier because this man's a starting pitcher. Ain't nobody using Dennis Eckersley as a starting pitcher. Dennis Eckersley, at least from what I know from MLB The Show, everyone uses him out the, out the bullpen, so no one's going to really use that card, but he, his stats are really, really nice. Next, um, I think this is Al Kaline or Alkaline. Al Alkaline. 
Al Kaline. I can never get this man's <laughs> name right. I'm going to throw him in the C tier because his hitting stats are really, really good. Never use them, but his hitting stats are nice. Next, we got Cal Ripken Jr. I really dislike this car because I hate his swing. But as a reward, I'm going to have to throw him in a D tier. I was going to throw him in a C, but I'm like, you know what? He's a D tier reward. Um, next, we have Dave Parker. Honestly, was so excited when this car was announced, but his stats just did not live up to it. So he's a D tier. Next, we're going on to Manny Machado, guys. Now, this finest was a throwback from last year. This card's really good. He's an A tier for sure. I would throw him in the S, but the next guy to him deserves it for sure. Trey Turner, guys. So see, hear, hear me out. Dominguez and Trey Turner, when you guys seen those cards announced and when you guys seen those stats, you guys knew I was playing events until I got those cards. So those that's exactly why he's in the S tier because they make you play events because you really want to get those cards. So I'll have those two in the S tier. Now moving on to the last two guys, and these are the, these are the ones that are out right now. Fred McGriff and Kenny Lofton. Now we're moving on to Fred McGriff. Honestly, he's a D, D tier card, bro, in, in, in my opinion because he he's released like in what december january no one's going to be really using this card unless you're using an all-time braves build and finally to round it all off we have kenny lofton guys now i'm throwing him i should throw him in in the d tier honestly but because i like kenny lofton i really like the way he plays the game and i really like his swing in the game as well he's going to go in the c tier for me guys there you have it so at the top, we got the S tier, we got Dominguez, Trey Turner, and the A tier, we got Granky Machado, B is U Darvis, Asa Lacey. But yeah, guys, so there, there goes another tier making video in the books. I appreciate you guys for watching today's video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123, and I'm out.